Hey guys, I'm back with my second vlog. I just decided to pick up the camera and start vlogging. Um, just to get things off my chest, kind of. Um, you know, it's a struggle being low class slash middle class America. I mean, this is the first time I ate today in a couple of days. And that's bad because I have diabetes. So it's like I'm sick all the time and I like I never feel good and I wish I could have like one good day and I'm just I don't know I'm it's a struggle to deal with everything and then make sure I'm eating properly working out regularly and um you know and the days where I just gotta get up out of bed because I just can't you know I mean it, yeah it always goes back to that depression too but also because I'm in so much pain and it's just like I don't know what to do I don't know if it's all my diabetes or if it's this infection that I've been fighting because of like my sinuses go my throat hurts I'm so nauseous and I'm so tired and I just I don't know and I'm, I've got to fill out my paperwork so I can go back to school May and I just all these things are running through my head and you know usually I write this down in my 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 journal but like I haven't decorated my journal or for this week so it's like I'm behind on that and like I'm behind in my planners and you know when mom gives me the money for my past birthday and Christmas you know I know I need to order stuff like furniture and clothes and like necessities like things that I need not necessarily that I you know want and but you know I'm gonna purchase things I want because you know it's supposed to be my my birthday slash Christmas present so you know yeah I'm gonna get planners and stickers and um because I'm a happy planner you know it helps with my depression and you know it I feel better doing it because I have a creative outlet and I just I don't know, like, it saves me from, like, sitting all day watching YouTube videos or binging TV, even though, you know, I do it when I'm planning, too, to throw something on. Um, me neither. I like the Heather Cow videos, playing the Bumble videos, or Crafty Girl videos. Um, I just got caught up in all my Crafty Girl videos, actually. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where I feel lousy and like I don't know what my mood's doing because it's like it's going like up and down up and down and yeah I took my antidepressant and that and they say I'm supposed to take it like at a regular time so I need to start setting like alarms to take it at a regular time um like I've and I have 2,000 diabetes medicine too because I've skipped like maybe a week or two of it so maybe that's why I'm feeling horrible because when I was taking it regularly in the morning I was feeling like better so you know I just gotta do that and I gotta come up with like a meal plan that I'm gonna stick to and that I'm gonna follow so I feel better like I'm tired of feeling so lousy and just miserable like I just feel like poo it's basically what I feel like I feel like shit and it, it sucks because you know I'm only 28 and I should be living my life you know I should be out there dating or you know going to box, you know, having fun, you know, but I, I, I can't because my health is just, my life has always been moved on my health, and not a lot of people understand that unless you're living in my body, don't tell me it's going to be okay, or that I'm going to get through it, or I don't have this or that, because I know my own body, I know when something's wrong. And I know whether or not, like, say, I can hang out that day or ride in the car that day or, you know, spend the night or, you know, I know, like, I'm an introvert. Like, I'm a homebody. Like, you will barely catch me going out unless I'm, like, walking my dog or, you know, going to just walking downtown to, like, the store, you know. It's just, or, like, grocery shopping once a month. Like, that's usually my outing, you know. Um... And it's so, like, it's so surreal because I can't stay out in the sun very long either because my asthma acts up. So then it's like, well, how do I get the sunshine? You know, I have to take supplements to supply the vitamin D and C, you know, I get from the sun. 
and it's just, I mean, look at me, I'm white, so, like, I burn easily, you know, and it's just, and I'm all over the place in this vlog, I am so sorry if my vlogs are confusing, but, like, these are more for, like, me to get everything off my brain so I can try to sleep, and I don't know, I mean, it's like, I know there's things that I gotta get done, and I know there's things that I need to do, but getting not only the motivation, but, like, the energy to do it when I feel like crap, it's just, it's so hard, and not a lot of people understand that, you know, they just see a mess, and they're like, oh, that person's messy, or that person's nasty, or, you know, they just think, oh, well, you know, you don't take care of me, no, you know, a person, me, for example, my room was a disaster, you know, um, I've got clothes everywhere, and coloring books, and colored pencils, and sticker books, and blankets, and you name it, water bottles, you know, just because I'm, you know, I'm too lazy to pick it up, but you know, if I started doing like a five minute a day pickup, you know, I wouldn't have such a mess, you know, it'd be nice to like walk in my bedroom without like stuffing on something and it crinkling, you know, um, and my coloring books wouldn't get ruined and I wouldn't be searching all over the place for my colored pencils, and, but the thing is, has anybody, like, ever cleaned and then put stuff in the right part, part in, like, in the right spot, and then you forget that you put it in that spot, so when you go to look for it, you go to look for it where it was on the floor, because that's the last place you remembered it, that is so neat, like, I so will put stuff away in the right, right where it belongs, but I will, like, go right to where I remembered it last being, and then I won't forget where I put it, like, I don't know if that's, like, common, or a lot of people do that, but, like, that's, that's me, that's me, pellet hand basket, um, I don't know, I mean, you know, I sit here, and I think, all oh, this is wrong, and all, you know, this is wrong, this is wrong, you know, this could be better, this could be better, and I've got to take time to remember at the day, the end of the day, the things that I need to be grateful for. Roof over my head, some food in my belly, you know, blankets in bed. Some people don't get that, you know, they're laying in boxes in the streets and, you know, and I've got to remember the good things. Like, yeah, there's a lot of negatives, but there's a lot of positive things to be grateful for. And I've been practicing that a lot in my journals and um, planners is like a grateful list and it, it does help sometimes to give me a kick in the butt and remember like, Hey, I've got this to be thankful for today, you know. Try to live every little piece like it's Thanksgiving, you know. Um, but sometimes it is, it's, it's very hard. Like, I won't see my psychologist until, like, June. So, like, I'm off my sleeping post. So, like, I hardly get any sleep. So, like, I'm a stone cold itch and like I feel miserable because I don't sleep because I get night terrors and I have to do another sleep study and it's just one of those things where you know can you stop doing all these tests and tell, tell me what's wrong with me you know can we come up with a regimen you know and I don't know and it's, it's it's not one thing it's another my head's not hurt and my belly's hurt if my belly's not hurt my kidneys are hurt and if you know my kidneys aren't hurt and it's my ankle you know it's I'm uh, basically a hundred year old living in a twenty nine year old body. Um I don't know, I mean so it's so hard because you want people to understand you, but they can't because they don't live in your body. So they don't feel what you feel and they don't you know, live with it day to day. So, you know, when people ask me, Are you feeling okay? I'm like, Yeah, I'm okay, you know. I lie through my teeth because, you know, other than that, I'd be complaining, and I don't want to seem like I'm complaining that I'm alive, but, like, you should just assume now with me that something is wrong, like, I'm hurting somewhere, you know, um, it's just one of those things, and then, like, my diabetes has been scaring me because it's in, it's affected my kidneys, well, I can't get into the kidney doctor till Thursday, this Thursday, I think, and then, no, 
no, May. I can't get into May. And then, like, the beginning of May. And then, um, I'm supposed to go back to see my dietitian too. So, like, my, not my dietitian, but, like, my diabetes educator to kind of help me, too. And then, like, um, I gotta remember to take my medicine right early. It's, like, a big thing. And check my blood sugar and my numbers have been like really high like in two like the high 200s and almost like middle 300 so it's, it's really scary um and i know part of that is because i'm not eating regularly and, you know so i'm not eating regularly i don't have the energy to work out or you know do simple things and it's just <sighs> it's just will take another you know cause and reaction cause and reaction chain of events you know I don't know, it's just, it's been a couple of those days, um, but I mean, you know, what can I do, you know, other people don't have it as good as I do, I mean, I've been watching these medical dramas, How 70 and Chicago Med, and, you know, and I'm thinking, these people come in and they find out, you know, they come in for like simple headache or tummy ache and they find out, you know, it's cancer and all this and it's like, it makes me grateful that like, I don't have that, but like, it also makes me grateful for, you know, not having that kind of diagnosis or that kind of fear that you get coming in and then you come out with a life-threatening disease, you know. Maybe I'm at asthma's bad enough and my diabetes is bad enough if I don't control them, but like, those are things I can control and I can get cured from. But like, you know, a higher risk is like, you know, that cancer, that tumor, or stuff like that, like they show you on, make those shows dramatic. So, like, I'm really grateful that I'm not one of those kind of patients that go in and get like life threatening news, you know? Or like, so it's, so it's like another thing to be grateful for, I guess. And, I don't know, it's just like one of those things, and sometimes I wonder, like, like, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to prioritize, um, needs over wants, because, you know, I want this and this and this, and it's the last of all, so, you know, I want this, and, but I know I need this, and it's just... You know, how do you prioritize your wants over your needs? It's so hard, like, I mean, how do you decide, like, what you need at the moment, or, like, what you want at the moment? Like, do you think of it as, like, a long-term goal, or do you think of it, like, is this going to make me happy right now, or, like, it's one of those things, like, I'm so, like, I don't know. You know, it makes me like regret things that I can't do, like work, so I can afford both my needs and my wants, you know, and help my mom out and help my, you know. You know, because it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get SSD and all this, and you know, I just, I hate seeing our family struggle because, you know, we're at a lower social interaction, you know, we're a lower class, you know, and I just, I don't know, it's like, would I have these problems if I had a million dollars? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'd have food regularly and on my table regularly, and, but like, but, you know, I could have all the money in the world, and I could still, you know, be sick, you know, and I don't know, it's like one of those things, it's like, you're grateful, but not grateful for being lower slash middle class, you know, it's got its checks and balances, I guess you could say, you know. For all the goods, there's always a negative. For all the negatives, there's always a good. You know, like, one of those things. And 
I don't know. So, I just had to kind of get that off my chest. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching these or watched my first one or um, really care. It takes me a lot of courage to put these out there, but I hope to get better and do better sceneries and everything. I want to be like Crafty Girl and be able to like vlog beautifully and everything. But, um, well, that's it for now. I will talk to you all sometime soon. Um, I'm going to try to hopefully do these like once a week or once every two weeks. Um, well, thanks you guys. Have a good night. Bye.